So Drishane Castle everybody this morning I'm in Mill Street, County Cork, right on the border of Cork and Kerry. So uh, usually the, the gate would be closed at this time because it's not open for public visits as it states here. But uh, you know, you just ring the bell to gain entry to the grounds and you'll be able to drive in or walk in and you'll be able to get access to the grounds and the castle and at least walk around and photograph it, which I am going to do. So uh, keep watching, you won't be disappointed. So lucky enough was the weather and um, it is about an hour's drive from where I live in um, Balincoli, County Cork. Don't know, Balincolic is again another 12 kilometers from Cork City, so altogether I would say about an hour and 15 minutes drive if you're coming from Cork City. If you are in Kerry, it would be much shorter drive, I would say 40 45 minutes, depending where you are in Kerry. But I'm judging from Killarney. So, uh, Mill Street itself is a lovely village. There are a couple of businesses here, pubs, and it's very open. It's a has a nice feel to it, you know, there's a bit of a square and the main street. There's also fabulous views of Kerry Mountains, of course, as you can see on the background now. And um, I'm not sure what that other building is to my right. It's obviously a newly built building. So um, I'll stop here and I'll uh, try and get close to the other bridge. And see there's a bit of a water stream there as well but uh, lovely day it's it's a little bit colder than yesterday so today is the 12th of march and um sun is shining there are occasional showers here uh, which are to be expected in march uh, but it should be nice for st patrick's day of course the biggest biggest day <laughs> uh, for irish and uh across the globe and uh, biggest day and parade in Ireland and uh, there'll be lots of activity and lots of tourists in Ireland for that. Lots of parades going on. I'm gonna stay locally this year. I'm gonna watch a parade in my uh, in the village where I live, Balincolic, so they always put up the parade and uh, it's always a nice atmosphere. So. I'm going to stick around for that, although normally I would be in Dublin or Cork for the parade. But uh, always good to see something different and do something different every year, you know. So I've been here 15 years and I've seen many, many parades in the cities. So we'll see what the village parade is like. I know last year they uh, I attempted to have most girls dressed as the character from Frozen and uh, they uh, yeah, they set the record. So that was good. That was a great achievement for the village. I mean it's the village, it's 27,000 people so it's growing all the time, you know. So I enjoy living there. So, so I am around the back of the castle. There's a church here. Uh, this place is absolutely magnificent, huge, and uh, what uh, I probably didn't realize that when you know, and you probably wouldn't either when you're looking at it online. It's only when you come down here and see it for yourself or watch my video. <laughs> and there's a lake here, okay. <laughs> I don't think this one has a golf course, I might be mistaken, I don't see any golfers, but it, do, it does look like a clubhouse there on the other side of the lake, but you know, I might have to check out the website closely. I do know that they offer weddings here and it's a tourist attraction. There's a house and there's obviously people living here as well, so um, hence, you know, you can get entry here any time of the year. It's, uh, although the sign says May to September, um, I think it's when you can get into the castle and such and, you know, by paid entry, but uh, a five year ago. But uh, you can ring the bell. Some kids playing, I'm gonna have to 
not shoot and uh, yeah I think it's a fabulous place to live because obviously you know you might have a bar or a restaurant in the hotel or in the hotel part of the castle you have a fabulous uh, place to take pictures and walk around any amount of space there's this forest uh, right at the back that you could just go and explore and it's quite safe because it's all guarded and it's very very quiet so a fabulous place to live with your family or stay for, for a few days or come out and explore for that matter so keep watching so I walked across um, is called and there's a nice old stone bridge and looks like there's another uh, gate I'm not sure where it leads but it's absolutely massive estate here you should just see It's a nice location, not many people in this place and uh, I, I didn't really know until I started doing research into all um, ruins and castles in the county park and uh, I found it quite enjoyable just coming and visiting it and you know doing videos and telling people about it because it's a, it's a great way to spend the day to come out to something like that and explore the village and have lunch here and you know if you don't want to have lunch for a picnic or something you know it's also a cheap day but uh, very interesting and very enjoyable that's what I get out of it and uh, when the weather is good there's nothing I'd rather do to be honest and this just really positively surprised me and hopefully the temperatures will stop start going up um, not many know we don't really have summer in Ireland it never really goes up to 20 degrees or anything like that there are days that we might have 17 18 degrees and that's as good as it gets here you know really once it doesn't rain that's really all we can hope for in the summer winters are quite grey and we did get a lot of rain this winter so it's nice to have a day like that <laughs> where you can come out. There were a few showers this morning here and there but you know also quite a lot of sunny spells so uh, it's great. There's nothing better when the sun shines in Ireland and uh, you know for St. Patrick's Day it seems to be always dry I don't know looking down on us and uh, you know I never had a bed parade or watch out at the parade on St. Patrick's Day and I go every year so it's been uh, right nice and then you know it might we might get some bad weather again and then it'll start get better again in April so hope you enjoyed this video follow me on the Twitter the links are below I have a blog as well and uh, subscribe to everything and uh, I'll keep you up to date with ruins and places I visit around Cork and Ireland in general and general travel tips as well I have some Amazon books out there help you save on your trip to Ireland and uh, I hope if you do make it here you enjoy your visit that little bit more because I've provided you with some information that you might have had you know so I'd like to wish you a very, very good day and uh, from here in Mill Street. Bye!
so um, quite impressive grounds. So this castle is located in Mill Street, um, County Cork. It's very close to County Kerry border. Um, this castle is restored and um, it is a tourist, at least it's a tourist attraction. Um, entry from May to September, however, you can come on the grounds and explore it. You, you know, we don't need to pay and go in. Um, obviously, I'm interested, but maybe I'll come back in May or... Um, when it's open to public, um, they obviously may be using it as a hotel or you know some sort of accommodation. Or I know it's also been um, rented out for weddings. The castle itself was built between um, 1436 and 1415. There's an old bridge there as well, which I'm going to try and get close to. And um, there is there are old stables, and the whole ground is. Um, another bridge. It's quite big and impressive actually. So this is um, quite at the back here so you can appreciate the full extent of this is the back of the castle and the tower and the church. So now I'm leaving the estate, draw over the old bridge and uh, you see the mountains on my right. It's such a beautiful landscape and uh, Sorry, whoever the person is walking towards us now, to be careful. And uh, it's super pretty here. There's a graveyard here as well, and it has a separate entrance to it. So you can, uh, you know, get a view of the castle, even if you don't manage to get in. But I, I'd say shouldn't you shouldn't even should just ring the bell, don't be afraid. What I always do, and I always I'm always curious what's behind the gates, and I want to always drive in and see what the story is here. And um, you know, nine out of ten times I'm not disappointed. Check out my other videos, so you could see. I see the gates is opening. You know, um, they see like they obviously have sensors or something. It's a pretty tower, and. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, goodbye Trishane Castle, for now anyway.